Now we're going to get started on the poker game itself. We've already instituted the player class, the standard card, and the standard deck separately. So now we're going to integrate all of that together. Our constructor will now be set up to instantiate all of the global variables that we just created. We'll start with creating an empty list for our players. We're going to make it an array list. Then we'll create a standard deck. Next will be our community cards. So that'll be the ones that are on the table. They'll include our flop, turn, and river. I mean, there's only going to be five, so we will just set that to only have five slots. And then our winning pot will just have zero. Our game will need to know about the players and how to handle adding players, so we will create a method that will interact with the user through the terminal or console. So we'll start out with asking them to enter a player's name. Uh, we're going to use a scanner, and what that does is allows you to have input from the keyboard that the computer will, um, that the program will know about. So we can then use scan next and now I get the next token from the input so that's for the player's name we'll save that into the temp name and then we'll let them know what that temp name who what player they're talking about and for them to enter their starting balance. And we'll actually use the next int method from the scan class. And then immediately we'll show them what their cards, their, their two whole cards are. and we'll just use our game deck to get the next two cards on the stack. I highly encourage testing and testing often. So we'll now use our main method and create some dummy data so that we can then test our different methods as we go. So the first thing we want to test is the ability to add a player. So it doesn't take any input in, so it's just going to show us the method itself doesn't take any input, and it'll just run us through this process. So we have one fin dog as the player name, $200, 200 units is the balance, and then we've got 10 of spades and a 10 of clubs as our 
full cards. Since we spent the time to work on a two-string method in our player class, we're actually going to leverage that to display the user information, the player information. Now that we have add player working, we actually want to kind of put a wrapper around that that will handle all the player setup. The, very, the likelihood that we'll only have one player is kind of low, so we want to be able to cycle through and keep asking the user to add more players if that's what they so choose to do and handle all of that. So we'll use a while loop, have it um, automatically be set to true to add another player, and whenever they say it's uh, false, uh, by using uh, user input from the console, the, or from sorry, from the keyboard, then we will toggle that add another player to false, and it'll kick them out of the while loop, and they'll be done adding players. Now we'll add player setup to our poker game constructor. And therefore, we don't need to call add player anymore. And now we can enter our players. Now with an in, it kicks us out. Blinds are part of the game, which are initial kind of bets that go in to keep the game going and, and interesting. So we will add that as a global variable, the small blind and the big blind. We'll allow that to be part of the constructor because that'll be set for the game. And we're going to make it that whatever the small blind is, the big blind will be twice that. So we can check off some of the stuff in our pseudocode. Just to give us a little bit of a roadmap of where we're going, I wrote out the steps that we'll need to do for a successful game. So there are a few more things that we want to do to set up for a game. One is we want to pick who the dealer is going to be. And then we want to also pick the small blind player and the big blind player. And that will allow us to keep track of it and then rotate it through uh, after um, each round. We also need a place to store the bets so we can make sure that everyone has bet and that they are all at the right amount. This will make more sense when we are dealing with the calls and the checks and raises. So here we're going to initially set who the small blind and the big blind are. If the player list size is uh, greater than two people, then we'll do this. If it's not, then we won't worry about a small or big blind. 